Well, hi again. I thought I'd do a quick update on the tank. I haven't done one, so it's a new New Year update, and uh, made quite a few changes over the last couple of months. So I thought I'd just uh, do a little update for everyone to see what I've done. Uh, first thing I've done, I've removed the large. There used to be a flat piece of rock here with green star polyps on it, and um, I decided to take that out, um, get rid of it, and took it to my local shop. Uh, and then I went out to found another shop selling. Uh, the TMC branching rock which I absolutely love so when I they actually had about five different pieces of rock for sale so I bought all five which cost me over a hundred quid so yeah and I think I've used about maybe two pieces of it so yeah the branching rock here is a large piece around here which I've put on these there's three pieces of rock that it's sitting on um, and then I went out um, and um, yeah, and then I re escaped this side as well, made more of a cave going down inside and on top. And uh, yeah, added a few bits more there. So yeah, really pleased with the escape. Uh, so that's what I've done so far with the rock and changed a few bits about. See, so I've got a nice swim through there. Little places, fish to hide and stuff. So yeah, doing really well. That's great. And under there, a place here, a little whole places to swim and hide fish seem to really like it so yeah that's okay oh we'll get get a focus back in with this phone there you go yeah so that's what i've done so far and then well i wanted to add a few more calls so i say i took the the uh, flat piece of rock back uh to my local shop that had the uh, green star polyps and then i went back and bought some more green star polyps and luckily if this phone will focus on them okay these, he had these in the shop, and when he picked them up, they weren't on a piece of rock. They were just like loose. So as it happens, I bought them, and they've actually laid them on the top. They actually moulded sort of to the shape of the rock, because there wasn't any, there wasn't on a piece of rock. So, yes, yeah, so hopefully they're going to grow over that, create it. And I quite nice, like the way they were near the top, sort of blowing in the uh, flow and everything. So yeah, I've got those. Uh, and then I bought some zoas again unfortunately green but that's all he had at the minute i just wanted to add a bit more color to the tank but obviously there's a lot of green in the tank yeah so I've done that and then he also had um i love gorgonian coals uh and i would say i've already got these ones at the minute i've got these two and i've got this one and then he just got a load in my local shop so i bought this one it's quite a large one, a thicker one, and then I bought this like a fan shape one at the back here, which I absolutely love. And they these were £45 each. So I went I bought this one first, bought this one, and then I got and thought, oh, I can't just get one, and I went back and bought this one. So and I actually want to add some more. I want to create like a Gorgonian forest. Um so I really like and then I also bought the some more um oh what's called it mushroom coals. So this yeah, this big cluster with a nice green one on it, a green again, um, nice bright, a few all different mushroom coals on this piece of rock, so I bought that as well. Um, as I heard, they, they also uptake like nitrates and that, I think they use that a little bit, uh, so I've done that. So yeah, I've done that so far. Um, yeah, I want to add a bit more to, oh yeah, the other one I bought was this encrusting coal, but I don't actually know what it is. I think it's an LPS coal. But I put it on the substrate and it was just getting covered in stuff and the crabs were turning it over. So I stuck it at the top here. Um, it seems to be doing okay, but I kind of wish I didn't buy it really because I don't... I'm, I presume it will grow around this piece of rock. I don't quite know what it's got to do, to be honest. Yeah, so that's that with the coal. And then, because I've done the rescate, I put the leather coal here. So it'll focus. Yeah, leather coal here. And just still hoping that the clouds might host it like they did years ago, but so far they haven't done anything. Um, and yeah, and as, as I said, I took out uh, the large toastal coal, and too bright now. Large toastal coal, which uh, I got rid of because it was just it was getting white spots and it was just taking too much space up. And I found this little guy growing down the back, so I've put this one here, I'll focus on it. So I've got a new toastal coal growing here. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. For the coals at the minute if, uh, if i ever get this phone to focus yeah so that's mainly coal set up at the minute and uh change the escape so yeah really pleased it tanks running really nicely as you've got 
hardly any out. I don't think I've got any algae in it that I can see. Um, yeah, fish are all doing okay. No algae. I'm actually slightly concerned there's actually no algae now because obviously I've got the tuxedo urchin. Um, don't know where he is at the minute. Got a tuxedo. Oh, there he is. Got a tuxedo urchin, which I've had for quite a long time. Again, if this thing will focus, there he is. So I've got the tuxedo there, and I've also got the crab. Oh, we've gone blue now. I've uh, got the crabs, obviously, and snails. So I'm a bit concerned that there may not be enough like algae and that for them to eat in the tank now. But I've tried to target feed. Oh, this phone. This is all changing colour at the minute. Anyway, I've tried to target feed this urchin quite a few times now, and it just it don't work. He even stuck on the glass. He was climbing up the front glass, and I stuck some um, Easy Reef Semastic around him, and he still just moved away from it. So I can't seem to get him to feed on anything, but he seems to be doing okay. Yeah, so that's that with the uh, yeah. So the algae's all gone. That's a lot clearer. Uh, fish are all okay. Um, Firefish really pleased with, seems to have really settled down in his tank. As you see, he's out swimming, he doesn't look stressed, got a little hidey hole down the back. He's not hiding away, just looks really happy in the tank. So this is the first time I've actually had some luck with a firefish. So yeah, really pleased with that. And um, a couple of corals I've lost. I lost the, um, I did have quite a large, another leather coral, which all I've got left of it is that tiny little bit because I tried to move it and so I read about putting an elastic round, band around it on a piece of rock which I'd done and then I checked it about a week later and as I moved the elastic band it just fell apart and loads of dust went into the tank so I don't know whether I put it around too tight or something but it just didn't that's all that's left of it it just didn't do well and the most annoying thing is this piece of rock uh, this frag here I had lovely clove polyps growing on it and it was doing really well and it kept right it in this little hole up here and then it kept being knocked off but it was still growing fine and I had it on the substrate it was really pretty um, and then it receded a little bit one day and the next day it's gone but I don't know if I, somebody's eating it or what I don't it looks like to me like there's a sponge or something on that I don't know if that's a sponge on there maybe the sponge just, just consumed it but literally, overnight, the clove polyps have gone. So I'm gutted. I was try I've been trying ages to get clove polyps and finally get some, and they fought and they just went. So I think somebody's eating them, but it's, they've gone. So yeah, I want to get some more clove polyps. Uh, Recordia's still doing okay. There's one there, which is and I've got, and there's the large one, the original one that I've had for years. You see. Decided to move under there, it's massive. So yeah, record is doing great. So yeah, the tank's doing really well. Um still using the skimmer, let's get rid of that. Still use skimmer's still doing well. I clean this probably if it'll focus. Clean this probably once a month now because I'm dosing um nitrophos minus and I'm getting quite a lot of slime build up. Um and I keep Quite a few have heard things saying about it being because I'm dosing too much because I was doing two meal a day. Um, but this, obviously, this skimmer is designed for I think 250 litres and this tank's 125 litres, so it should be skimming more than enough. And I've got it low, see, so I've got it on quite a wet skim as well, so yeah, that's doing okay. But um, yeah, uh, levels are about nitrates have come down to about 40, they were really high, about 60. And phosphate's a little bit higher, but not too bad. It's about 1.5. Uh, yeah, but everything else is doing okay. And uh, yeah, um, yeah. next thing I think they're doing uh, is... I did put this um, dual filter box back in a couple of months ago. And it's done okay. It's done quite a good job. Obviously, the tank looks a lot cleaner. But it does take a lot of space up and I checked it a couple of weeks ago and pulled everything out and it does hold quite a lot of waste. So I'm actually thinking of pulling it out and putting a maybe a fluid or external filter on it, on this tank. Um, I think uh, someone else on here, uh, Corey Willard, has got the same tank as me. Uh, and he's just about to do the same, do that. So he's going to pull it, I think he's going to take his internal filter out and put an external filter on it. 
So I'm just waiting to see what he does and how he gets on with it. Because the main thing I can't, I'm not sure what to do with the fluval filter is the inlet and outlet pipe. And as you can see with these jaw, there's only a very small gap here. So if I want the inlet and outlet pipe coming through one bit, I don't know if they're going to fit in this space. So I'm just intrigued to see how Corey, Corey um, Willard makes this work. So hopefully, yeah, and if you haven't seen his ch channel, check it out, him and his dad, uh, Nathan Willard and Corey Willard, they, uh, they have a really good channel, and Corey's got this tank, exactly the same tank as this. So uh, yeah, check it out if you can. Um, and also another reefer that I'm really following, I mean, a great new reefer on um, YouTube is, is Jay's Real Reef. So check that out, it's great, really great um, little reef tank he's just set up. Um, and I think he puts a video one or two out once a week. So, yeah, really check him out. He's really good. And also another one I found was, I think, it's Bearded Reef. He's just started with a little uh, water box nano tank as well. So he's another one to check out. But, yeah, so everything's doing okay on the tank. So you can see it looks really bright. Everything's a lot healthier. Uh, so the next thing I want to try is to put some LPS coils in here because my last... Uh, the one I've got left was my hammerhead, which I think is almost gone. If you just see, if I just darken it, if I can zoom in on it, um, you can just see there's just a tiny little bit left. Not a very good video, but yeah, that's my hammer, hammerhead's almost gone, and it's just not coming out. Uh, and I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. So yeah, so it's a shame, but. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Now let's get this back in focus. Yeah, that's the only thing. So I want to try, I would like to keep a couple of LPS coils in this tank. But um, so far, I'm just going to see how things go. And then one other update I've done is my 10-year-old clownfish. As you can see, if I go, has laid eggs. Oh, go away. Here it is. And you see the male guarding them at the back there. Uh, and this is the second time in the last few weeks or so that he's laid. This is the second lot of cluster of eggs. But as you can see, unfortunately, they've laid them right next to the intake, the bottom intake on the dual filter. So I don't think they're going to last. If any hats, they're going to go straight in the filter, which is quite annoying. The only thing I'm thinking I might try and do, if I do set up an external filter, I could empty everything out, take the, all the, uh, oh, Put my teeth in. Put everything, take everything out of the dual filter and just leave the box empty. So if any hatch, they can swim inside the filter. Um, yeah, but that's the only thing I could do. Yeah, so apart from that, I say, so yeah, just clownfish have laid eggs. Tank's running really well. Oh, I was trying to sit that. And, uh, oh, okay, right. yeah, so everything's ticking over really nicely. So anyway, happy new year, everyone, and uh, that's my latest update. See you on the next one. Bye.